How's it going y'all? In this video, I'm gonna be making a lo-fi house track in under 10 minutes. I'm gonna talk through as many things as I can along the way. And even though I'm working in Ableton, the workflow is applicable in any DAW. All right, let's start the timer right now. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is set up the beat. I'm gonna to go to my collection here. I made a little collection of lo-fi sounds. Uh, and let's see if I can find, that's a nice rim. We're gonna go and drag that into my MPC plugin. I have my MPC hardware right behind me. This is the MPC X, but I'm running in controller mode. Uh, that's a nice kick. And then let's see if I get a hat. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got a house beat right there. And let's see the metronome turned on. We're gonna take the speed down a little bit. Let's do like 118. So right now I'm going to hit record on uh, MPC and then record here. Just will give me a count in. I messed up the hi-hat. You can see just right there should be on the upbeat. Uh, so I'm just going to delete this one and put a new one in there. And really quickly on the MPC, I'm going to do some mixing. So pad mixer and take the level down here and let's hear that. Add in a hi-hat there. And then last thing I'm going to do is make sure the velocity is the same on all the kicks and uh, rims. Just uh, take the amp, amp uh, envelope down. Ooh, it's almost two minutes in. And then let's get a little hat loop in. It's just like, this could be like the, you know, pattern one. We're gonna get just a little hat loop. I think I found a few from this little by house bit. Now with bridge I have in my template here, you can see I'm gonna take the volume down, but Bridge is gonna sync my uh, loops to my project. I like this top loop crusher, so I'm gonna take it in and just copy with the tempo. I'm gonna take it to audio track one. All right, so that'll be like when uh, we get more energy. So I'm gonna start it right there. And if I wanna just bounce that MPC audio really quick, I can just uh, highlight, you know, make a new mini clip, freeze the MPC plugin. So just freeze track. Um, oh crap, I've got my, uh, actually, I've got uh, my sonar. So I'm gonna unfreeze the track. That was a nice little warning. I've got uh, sonar works reference. This helps me kind of correct for my headphones and, and get a better EQ curve. Let's see this. Freeze track and then option drag, boom. Nope, command T, put a new track in. Option drag the freeze and then I'm gonna mute the original NPC. And then really quickly, I'm going to put in a little bus force. I think this is uh, gonna glue the drums nicely together. I'm gonna put on the whole battery group. And this is from Arturia Effects Collection 2. And uh, let's see, I was going through dynamics. Oh yeah, I really like this uh, simple par parallel. Ultra compressed, actually that sounds really nice. Cool, now let's get in some lo-fi sounding chords. So we're gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna have this instance of Piano V2. I think let's do maybe uh, C minor to F minor. It's a nice like one four feeling.
let's just get the idea with the piano and then we can maybe change the sound design in a second. So I'm just gonna hit record. All right, so actually let's get a, a, maybe a better sounding piano. That's oh, maybe like low, maybe low fi sound. And I'm gonna throw some reverb on there from, also from effects collection to this rev intensity. I use it almost every track. Really like how it sounds. Ooh, four minutes in. Let's get to the bass and some vocals. I'm gonna just a little pumping. This is a free plugin featured in a video I did about free effects plugins you need in 2021. All right, cool. So this is sounding nice. Let's get a bass in there. I'm gonna go to my template here. Uh, I like. Let's go maybe something classic. And let's see, bass. Uh, a bass you'll use. Let's try this one. That's uh, nice sounding. Yeah, I'll just do something. Uh, I'm running out of time. We got three minutes. We've got to go faster. So let's go. Chord. Uh, okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna definitely quantize that. So, but not quantize by 100%. I didn't quantize my chords yet. So I'm gonna shift command U in Ableton gives my quantize settings. Current grid, is that gonna be good? I'll check at the bottom right. I think it's good, 1 16th, yep. So we'll say okay. Cool. I'm gonna keep that, uh, just continue that going. Let's get the bass, let's arrange this out and get a vocal. I'm pretty happy you could definitely get some horns, some more jazzy elements, some more lo-fi elements. So I'm in C minor, let's see what I can use with a uh, bridge just to find some new stuff that's maybe not in that collection. So we're gonna arrange this out. And let's go ahead set the pitch to C minor. So I'm gonna hit minor. So that kind of like, I could chop some of that. Did you hear uh, with the transpose feature, it automatically transposes it to the key I'm in. Maybe over here. Take it down, pan it a little bit. And then maybe automate this panning. Oh man, I've got a minute left. Let's see what else we can get in there. C minor. So I'm just gonna go to inch all downloads, do the minor filter. Some of these kind of, let's see. Yeah, right there, that sounded nice right there. Okay, so just get this in really quick. Oh, 30 seconds, we've got this. Uh, let's just get this little vocal. All right, 15 seconds.
and I think three seconds left, two seconds. Uh, all right, that's actually pretty good. I'm happy with where I got within 10 minutes. I challenge you to set a timer on the next track you work on, just sprint at the beginning, go right out the gate, don't overthink anything and just flow. And you know, then after that 10 minutes has you know elapsed, then you can slow things down. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna you know take maybe like 30 minutes, kind of just arrange this out, add some extra ear candy, some transitions, and let's hear where I can get to. First took a little more time to find a nostalgic sounding loop from this J Fuse pack. Next I added some vocal one shots, but I used aggressive EQs to cut out the frequencies. I replaced the piano instrument with a DX7 to give it a smooth and subtle sound. Finally I added an instance of operator with a square wave to give it a bright shine and I automated this in and out every now and then. If you liked the video, gained any inspiration, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're releasing videos weekly. Let us know in the comments what other genres you would like to see on our speed run series. The sounds and all the plugins I used will be linked in the description. Check them out there. As always, I hope you all stay creative and inspired. I'll see everyone next time. Later, everyone. <laughs>